What are you? Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused! We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. <laughs> Shit! The hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Circle up! I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs>
your mother teach you to knock? Behind you, big boy. Payday. Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. I do this for the thrill of it. I'll show you a thrill. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. Go to all that trouble for this. Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God damn it! I said don't shoot you! No! Wait! <sighs>
<sighs> Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake, or yours. <laughs> Don't struggle or you'll fall! No, but that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. Bye, Bat. <laughs> Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you, thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle, so the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What, a chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> And I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, a new face for Gotham, hmm? Look at you. That's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Pause. 
Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne, in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. It was a tragedy, truly. And I will fight from City Hall to make sure nothing like that ever happens again. Enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party, before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah, it looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing, it just, uh... Cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding, kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> uh, 
And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, I'll just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple what Mayor Hill has... You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll get a drink or something. Christ! Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But, in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. If Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Whatever you say. You're a good kid. You look like him, you know? It's nice that we understand each other. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... <laughs> 
I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce, while this city's still standing. It's me. See what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the breaking. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? And in other news, we are now on day three of the factory fire that will not end. Crews have given up trying to combat the blaze at the Otisburg Processing Center, owned by Ace Chemical. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. They're recommending people avoid the area and seek immediate treatment if you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. The body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio Garmone was found hanging off the side of the 4th Street Bridge sometime just before dawn, causing traffic to back up for miles as the cops cut him down. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. The police don't have any suspects at the time. Two more patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum bringing the total number of escapees from the half-prison, half-mental hospital to 15 this year. Only three have been caught to date, but all the escapees highlight the rough, some would say inhumane conditions at the aging asylum. The latest, 44-year-old twin brother and sister Leon and Valerie Muldoon, should be considered dangerous if found. Authorities are asking that you do not approach and call police immediately. Mayor Hill's Gotham Beautiful Act takes effect today, making it possible for landlords to evict tenants immediately and without cause. The new law was created in Nearly order fell off a building for this? Trust the valets. 
Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. I should see if I can refine the edge. Could be sharper. Can deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. I suppose that cat woman would have preferred the latter. And the newest addition can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. so important. Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theatre. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. I think so. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I had everything under control. That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. But I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Founder. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. You have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself, and not the playboy billionaire buys new yacht kind of attention. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. Oh, yes, you drive that thing like a bat out of hell. 
Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Well, as much as I enjoy having this one-sided conversation, even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Where are you, Oz? Thank you, sir. Statue, but no eyes. Hey, beat it. isn't what it used to be.
Watch wallet cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. End him. Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh. holding the moment! Come here! Think that'll do! Stay down! Used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh. Yeah, good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh... Uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. It's a shame what happened. It was beautiful once. And now, it's... A hellhole. Last thing my parents ever built. Ah, this city chews right through people. Ah. Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. Ah. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round-the-world vacations, unlimited potential. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home, that oily... Ugh. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And it'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. And I can't wait to get started.
Are you threatening me, Oz? Take it as you like. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> But today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible, but inside, they're suffering. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. We... All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. Wait. 
Harvey is the one who invited him. Bruce? Personally, I would never welcome that man into my home. Anyone else have a question? Please, keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, oh, Mr. Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. The DA is going to hear about this. Well, unless Harvey becomes a mayor, there's not much he can do. Can't smile this thing to death. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's chopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Stay back! Take whatever you want! You... you don't have to do this. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... 
It's not a problem, really. Ah, <sighs> Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. I appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say I'm the good guy here... Instantly makes you look bad. I get it. So let me say it for you. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood? That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. <laughs>